So what is the most effective way to overcome challenges both personally and professionally using this project management approach? The best way that I know is that you have to really have the conversation is what are we doing together and what is this team, this team of people, what are we trying to do together? Unless you can define the team, who's on and who's not on the team, you don't know who's relevant and who's not relevant to getting things done. Once you then do that, you have to build the relationships, the relationship between the leader, the project manager, and each specialist, and the relationship amongst them so that they start to work together collaboratively so they don't get in each other's way. The worst thing you need to do is when so I worked on some projects, it was the finance person who said, we don't have enough money for that guy, so we're not going to do it. And we have to say, well, we have to do it. You've got to get us more money. So everybody has to figure out how everybody has a, a skin in the game and how they can be assuaged a little bit to go along with the group so that you can get something done. That's, that's the nature of the leadership skills. If you don't have the skill, you're not a leader because you're not taking people where they need to go.